tell me what to say. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Sidious Nivage. I'm wearing Aziza's leg warmers on my arms because... Why not? Why not? Thank God I'm not wearing your underwear. In any case, today we'll have a look at this pen. Well, today's Tuesday. It's not the day you usually do. Me, 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 today's Tuesday. We'll have a look at this pen, and this pen was much requested. This is one specific variant of it, mm -hmm. but it was requested quite a lot. Pilot Vanishing Point. This is the, the black stealth. Yeah, this is the black stealthy version. Uh, my um, Vanishing <clears throat> Point is the... Um, the, the shiny girly one. The Raiden, Raiden, I don't actually know the accurate pronunciation. Uh, I think Raiden. Raiden? Sure. Anyway. If someone knows, please let me know. Well, it's also ramen noodles. If you're going to let me know, you could be nice about it, which would be cool. Ramen noodles. You no, know, not call me like a dumbass or not something. Not Raymond noodles. <laughs> True. Rotten. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's the one I have. Not the newer ones. The It's one of the older ones with the, the bits, not the... Uh, no. It's with the, the bits of the... of the. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking The bits, about. not the... Oh, you also the, have a faceted one. I also have a faceted one, which was, yeah. So fancy. I have dozens yeah, of pom of Yeah, but we're reviewing this one. The modern We're one. reviewing the modern one. So. Now. Uh, first impressions. First impressions. Shall I give you my first impression? Yes, please. Because it's my pen in this case. Um, even though you have many more vanishing points than I would possibly own. But in any case, uh, this was actually a gift from Eric uh, at the DC <coughs> Pen Show. He gave me his pen. Um, I did not get the box, but the box of this black stealth one was a sort of Han Solo encased in carbonite box with a, uh, a transparent um, round window that the pen was sort of suspended in. Was when it was limited, very cool. which yeah. it is no longer. Yeah, exactly. That's a very good point. Just in case you um, buy one and you don't get that. But I thought that was that was very cool. My first impression of the pen was this is very well made. It's well put together. It's all metal in this uh, version. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. What I mainly like about it, of course, that's the whole idea of the, the vanishing point, is that you click it and the nib comes out. So some people say, oh, it's like a fountain pen disguised as a ballpoint, etc. But I, it has practical applications. And I like that. And that was my, my first impression was very interesting to try this and... and use this pen that is so practical. All right. What about your first impression? Well, uh, on mine, the Rodin. The uh, Rodin. I'm so fancy. I have a Rodin pen. You look ridiculous in those arms. It's insanely right? comfortable. I think I'll wear these always. <laughs> uh, the packaging was not like a limited coolness. It was just a regular pilot clamshell. Uh, I got rid of it. But anyway, um, packaging was boring. I was totally disappointed it wasn't cool like that one. But the pen itself, uh, both this one and the Rodin version is really beautiful. I think they're really attractive. The Rodin is... To be honest, I bought that one just because I wanted the Rodin pen. And that's I know okay. that's really shameful. I got it at a really good price. And um, I'm super embarrassed to admit that that's why I bought the pen. That's alright. Um, but anyway... We all do weird things. We do weird things. Some of us are super vain. Some of us are more vain than others. Uh, so, my first impressions were positive. I was very attracted to the pen. Alright, good. Yep. What makes it special? What makes this one special? Well, this was a limited edition when it came out, and now they've launched it. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, there were no black nibs uh, for the, the Vanishing Point series, and now there are. So you can get a black nib, but when I got this, I got a rhodium-plated nib mm -hmm. with it, not yellow gold. I actually got that at the DC Pen Show from Richard Bindner, and the only reason I mention that is that he tuned it, so it was nib meistered. Mm -hmm. It wasn't altered, it wasn't turned into a stub or anything, it was just made a little wetter, etc., um, and smoother. But now I have this black nib, uh, which uh, a nice person got for me. And the reason I mention that is that now I have also used a stock nib. And it's a little hard to compare because the tipping on this nib is also covered in ruthenium, I guess. Yeah, I think it's ruthenium. Uh, and that always reduces the smoothness of a pen a little bit. I mean, think about it, it's, it's tipping material and you, you, you put something over it, so it becomes a little less smooth. But even so, they're nice nibs to use, and this one, two out of the box, worked you, pretty you, well. We're supposed to be talking about what makes it special. 
Yeah, well, I didn't. What makes it special is that it's a retractable, like, one-hand fountain pen. Yeah. Right? You can operate it single-handedly. Okay, but since he's already started talking about his writing experience... <sighs> Well, my writing experience was good, now you go on with your writing experience. Uh, my writing experience, I purchased a... I'll just talk about mine. That's yeah, cool, may right? as well. I mean, it's, it's even better because then people... Now we have more pens to describe. Yeah. Now, um, I have a, I had a... I had first purchased a medium nib, and um, I first had issues with mine. So, it... I... From what I understood, someone had recommend that I actually try a, con uh, a cartridge instead of the converter. That didn't do anything, and then in the end, uh, I removed the nib from the unit and cleaned it, and that actually fixed it. So, not surprising. This was very early on in my fountain pen day, so I didn't really know about flushing pens and all that. I was just super vain and wanted a shiny pen. Question. Is there also rod and lacquer on the nib? No! Yeah. What? That doesn't make any sense. Not um, <coughs> uh, How about the converter? After it was flushed, it, it's had no issue since. So, that is great. Yeah. Uh, so the writing experience Wonderful. was good for in that regard. Now, a lot of people have issues with these pens, or wonder about these pens because of the location of the clip, right? I mean, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. Let me just use this as a placement. I mean, as an identification. The clip is right there on the section. I'm trying to do this. Uh, so it's basically right where you would grip. And uh, it really depends on what your grip is like. So, basically, what you can do at home is if you have a pen that you're trying to... and you want to get a vanishing point, like, take two toothpicks, tape them together, and put them on the top of your pen, and then see if your grip is in, like touches the toothpicks, or the toothpicks get in the way of your grip, and then you kind of know if the clip is going to be in the way. I know that sounds nuts. I tried it. For me, the guy for, time like that. <laughs> for me, the clip doesn't get in the way. The section is quite small. Um, it, like, it does thin out. Um, the nice thing is, especially on the, on the black version, it does have a slight texture to it, so it's not very slippery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is nice, given the shape of the section. <coughs> but it's... It's really going to be about your grip style, or if your grip can adjust. I mean, if you're one of the people that hold your pens like this, it's going to be really like uncomfortable, I think. Um, the cat's moving. But as far as the nibs go, I think overall I've used yours... I've used two nibs on this pen, one on mine, as well as the faceted version I have, and all of them have performed very well. So I think as far as the quality control goes, it's it's quite good. And that doesn't really surprise me from Pilot. They're usually pretty good with their nibs. So, writing experience was good. Alright. What yeah. do you love about it? What do you love about it? Well, what I love about it is that you can <coughs> operate it with one hand. Yeah, that is it's super useful. cool. It's practical. Um, the nib performs well, but I really think that that click feature is most useful. I'll continue with what I don't like about it, and that's actually a couple of things. One is that, for me, the clip gets in the way. I've used the older faceted vanishing point model, and that has a different clip design, which I find much more pleasant. I don't really understand why Pilot moved away from that. Because the clip, you, you feel it, there's almost no way around it, and for a short writing session it's not a big deal, but for longer writing I think it is. Now we have not mm -hmm. used the Pilot Capless or the Decimo, which I believe have different uh, shape slightly in clip shape oh, so those possible. might be better than the vanishing point because yeah. these are more rounded and stuff so yeah. uh, we're only referring to the vanishing point yeah just yeah. so you know yeah. okay uh, the second thing I don't really like so much is that there are definitely slight scuff marks on it so on this specific black uh, smooth model I don't know how well or, or uh, matte model I should say I don't know how you can see it probably not at all but there is a bit of a no but a it mark chips there it, it, it and does it chips chip off because and that, uh, here, I just looked at it right there. Yeah, exactly. It starts to chip and you can see the brass underneath. And that's that. That's a pity. Um, and the third thing I would say, I have not really had any issues with the pen really running dry overnight, which I have had with the Dialog 3, which is another retractable nib fountain pen. But these type of converters uh, that the Pilot has, uh, they really don't hold a lot of ink. And especially if you have a broad nib, granted that would write like a Western medium, they're not the broadest nibs in the world, but even so, 
I run out of ink very quickly with these pens. And on the one hand, they're very practical, right? But on the other hand, I also think if you use this for whatever type of application you have, where you go around with a clipboard and write down stuff, etc., you run out of ink very quickly, which is not so good. What about you? Uh, well, for mine, what I love is, well, also this one. I think they are very attractive. Um, this is really cool. The all black, the it's matte, which make like a matte black finish, which makes it really stealthy. Uh, the rotten is beautiful, and the two new rotten versions are even more beautiful, which I kind of want them, at least one of them. Um, and there um blah, blah, blah. there there are also many other finishes. Yes. There it's not just this and that. There are there's like the pink, things. there is like a stormtrooper one, there's, there's carbonesque, there's orange, uh, there's the metallics, um, there are just a whole ton. So I mean, if this one doesn't do anything for you, or if the rod doesn't do anything for you, you could more than likely find one that suits your your mm. tastes. Agreed. So they have uh classic ones like black and gold or black and rhodium and um, they have fun ones so uh, it's really it, it's really nice that there are so many to pick from uh, I do love the one-handed operation that's really great um, but I think as far as loves go like really what I really enjoy about it the nib performance was also very good so I can't really argue with that what I don't like, like he said, the converter is very small. Um, to be honest, they're just not my favorite pens. Mm -hmm. uh, I mostly am attracted to them because of the fun colors and all yeah. that. They're very collectible. A lot of people. They are very collectible. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not crazy about them. I can understand why other people enjoy them so much, uh, but for me, I'm just not crazy about them. So that's just me. That might be weird. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Would you buy it? Uh, okay. You're looking at around 140 US for a average one. I, I, if you're looking for one of the ones that are discontinued, like the pink one and stuff, those are more, if you could find one. Um, but 140 or so, the rotten ones are like 600, which is painful, because that's the one I want. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> to be honest, um... I would not buy one again. So I just don't use it enough. Um, I do I do enjoy this feature, but maybe it's because I just I'm not really on the go ever. So I just well I'm on the go, but I mean I don't walk and write. I don't really benefit from the one click feature. Yeah. So I just don't really use it. So I wouldn't necessarily buy one again. I already have one. You don't have to justify it. Yeah, uh, do I just I just don't think I would buy them again. Although I have been tempted by the pink one, so that just goes to show that I'm really vain. I mean, it's a really cute pink, and I really like it. I would not buy one. Two, and the reason is yes, it is a nice nib. Yes, it is a very cool, uh, clickable feature design. Yes, it clearly has nice practical applications, but given the clip placement. A small ink capacity and just indeed me not using this not picking this over other pens to me that's indicative of a pen that I don't really love and um, good craftsmanship etc but for me not enough to buy this again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now the big question is is it or is it not <coughs> serious nibbage okay so here's the snibble meter let's just put it at the center for starting point what do you think <clears throat> That's where it ends for me. Okay. What about you? Uh, I would also. Uh, this is plus, just so you know. This is serious and this is not serious. If I don't know how visible it is. Uh, yeah, I would say for me. I'm trying to reach this. For me, the rodden is a little higher because it doesn't have the finish issues that this one has. Uh, it doesn't chip or anything and uh, it doesn't show the brass underneath. So, I do think they are a very cool design. Um, the nibs are really, they really do write well. Uh, it's convenient. I love the gorgeous array that you can choose mm -hmm. from. I think they're a decent price because they are gold nibs. 
Um, but again, for me, I just don't use mine all that much. So I can't say, oh yeah, that's serious, you know. <laughs> Sorry. All right. But yeah. I am still tempted by the pink one and the new rod and so that... What that's could we that. recommend alternatively <coughs> if you don't want to buy this but you do want to buy something like this? Of course there is the Lamy Dialog Free but that's more expensive. That is more expensive. Um, there, in the price range I would say you are looking at something like Lamy 2000. Which is radically which is different though, right? Radically different. So I don't really think that's good. I mean, really, when it comes to retractable nib fountain pens, there aren't that many. Either you're looking at a classic safety filler, but that's a whole different world altogether, and also a very different pen, or something like the Dialog 3. So that's really all I could say. Dialog 3, even though it's not the same price range, it's the same concept of retractable nib pen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although, if I had to pick between the two, I would pick this one. Just Yeah, the Dialog 3 is very big and heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything to add? No, I do agree with you. I mean, what else could you pick? It is that. But, I mean, this is a very unique pen. So, it's not just like comparing no. two types of apples. These are apples and oranges. Oh, that was cool. Um, but anyway. Paris. Does anybody out there have a pink, a pink one? I think if I so. One. Oh, yes, yes. I must steal it. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah. But but see, this is the nice, the fun thing. You can collect them because they're pretty affordable. So I do still use mine. I just it's just not constantly inked. So I still like I said the pink or the new Rodens. Oh yes yes. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now. We hope this was useful. And we'll see you later. Probably. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You hit yourself with snobometry.